Bonjour tout le monde. Aujourd'hui c'est lundi le 7 octobre. Il y a un nouveau mot de passe um, and we'll talk about the rest of what's going on today specifically in a little bit. But first let's take a look at what's going on throughout the week. Um, <clears throat> you are going to have your very first quick write portfolio due. You'll be doing four of these all together over the course of the school year, one per quarter. Um, and I'll explain that a little more uh, in a minute. You'll have deux discussions based on aujourd'hui dans l'histoire. Um, you have a new, some new geste TPR that you'll be learning. Um, les nombres 21 jusqu'à 50 um, are the basis for your chanson de la semaine or song of the week. So you'll be working with those. Um, you're going to be translating our personne spéciale from last week, Shelby. We'll be making a new personne spéciale, um, which I'll talk more about uh, when we get to that during the week. Um, you'll be doing your weekly video. We will have a quiz on our new personne spéciale, who is une grenouille, a frog character, that will be the basis for our next story. Um, and then you will be just doing your weekly check-in. You don't have to write a quick write this week because instead you'll be completing your quick write portfolio. So I'll explain that in a minute. So today is when I'm going to explain this, um, but you can work on it all week. And um, as I mentioned, there's a new mode of pass this week. We're going to talk about the weekend. Uh, I'm going to show you some of those new gestes TPR. We have uh, La Chanson de la Semaine that I also mentioned a minute ago, and La Traduction pour Personne Spéciale Numéro 3, Shelby. Le nouveau mot de passe, moi aussi. Moi aussi. Moi aussi en anglais, me too. So just make sure you copy that down into your cahier, just like this looks. Okay, so this is what I was talking about when I said quick write portfolio. So every quarter, we will be turning in pictures of three of our quick writes. So I want you to do them every week. Um, and if you've been doing so, super. If not, then you need to make sure that you are doing them more regularly next quarter. But for now, you can just do one a day this week, which will give you enough to have three when, they're, when this portfolio is due on Friday and um, will allow you to at least complete this assignment. But in the this, in this future, I wanna make sure that you are actually um, doing a quick write every week. Because the best thing for these portfolios is to have a lot to choose from, not just to have three and go from there. Um, so in your Schoology assignment, in Schoology for this week, you will see Quick write portfolio. It's not in one of the daily folders, it's just outside of those folders. And then it explains here you have always been asked to do a quick write each Friday, um, and this kind of explains what you do with those quick writes. And now that you've done several of them, you're going to choose three of them. You're going to take a legible picture of each of them, and you are going to make sure the date is visible in the picture and you're going to upload your pictures here and then you have this um, reflection document. So you're just going to download three of them. In the future, I'll ask that you, um, that you choose one that kind of shows your, uh, where you were at the beginning of the quarter, one that shows kind of where you were in the middle and one that shows like it's your best one and shows really how much progress you've made. Um, for this one though, I just want you to take pictures of three of them, any three, and then it just um, kind of, there is still a question about if quick writes are a way to show growth, progress, and effort, what grade would you give yourself? So um, in theory, those quick writes should always be showing progress because when you do one one week, Theoretically, the next week you should be able to write more. Of course, it's not always going to be the case, but um, that's what you want to demonstrate is happening when you turn in these pictures of quick writes. So, um, and then that's that's really it for this one. The next reflection that we do will be a little bit more involved. There'll be some more questions, but for now, this is just kind of a um, let's try this for the first time. So you're taking pictures of three of your quick writes. You're uploading them to this assignment. And then you are also completing this 
reflection document. Okay, les nouveaux gestes TPR. We have a few. La classe nage, cours, mais, it's all in here, so um, make sure that you are practicing with those. And then la chanson de la semaine. I don't have it embedded here because I had some issues with the embedding, but you will be able to get to it using this link. Les nombres 20 jusqu'à 50. And then finally, your translation for your personne spéciale from last week, Shelby, is due to due this week. So um, if you could translate that, just make sure you are um, going line by line. I shouldn't see like a chunk of uh, French and then a chunk of English. I want you to go line by line so you can see how the words line up, how they um, are translated individually as well as within the context of the story or the, in this case, summary. Um, and then also make sure that you are either writing in a different color or you're highlighting so that you can differentiate i can easily too differentiate the um the french from the english okay say too that is it for today um a if you have any questions for me um just let me know via email merci au revoir